Bismillahirrahmanirrahim So kita continue with the consolidated undrained triazole test ataupun C U test. Okey. So semalam kita tengok CD, hari ni kita tengok C U test. So the first uh, procedure is the sample preparations exactly sama yang macam semalam. The, the diameter adalah ratio pada trip, uh, twice of the the length is the twice of the diameter. Okey, the most commonly used this one okay and then the second stage is the saturation stage okay the purpose is to wet the sample until the sample fully saturated so as usual as as in cd test we need to fill up the cell cylinder with the water and then till it full to the top and then we need to allow the water to flow into this specimen through the back pressure line eh? Because we need to saturate the sample to wet the sample and then we need to wait until the sample to be fully saturated normally the sample is in the conditions of unsaturated or dry conditions so we need to fill up the water inside the specimen until the B reading is equal or more than 95% or 0.95 then after the sample is fully saturated we can proceed to the next stage since we conducting the CU test so for we have the C meaning that we have the consolidation stage so what is the purpose of the consolidation stage is to strengthen the soil by allowing water to flowing out okay all right then so we well, we need to apply the sigma 3 sigma 3 is the cell pressure isotropically meaning that all around the specimen will receive the same amount of the cell pressure okay and then what will happen during the consolidations consolidation will take a uh, time because we need to ensure that the water flowing out to the minimum uh, amount that it will constant at the end or will reduce to zero so to allow the consolidation don't forget the valve make sure the valve at the pore water pressure open the valve okay by opening the valve again so water will permit it to flowing out you close the valve so air tak boleh nak keluar so there is no consolidations okay then what will happen during the consolidations the progress of you pore water pressure Okay, exactly sama macam semalam bila kita buat consolidation since kita open the valve so water will flowing out so at the beginning the water is uh, at the higher value because we already saturated the sample uh, when when saturated the sample the soil ada dalam soil itu ada water okay but uh, during the process in the process of consolidation the you will start to reduce okay you will start to reduce to the constant value or sometimes it can be u equal to zero at the end of the consolidation so sama ada u equal to zero and then it will constant ataupun u akan constant terus at certain value maybe not zero but then it will stay constant so when it stay constant at that value meaning that there is no water flowing out so maknanya soil dah achieve fully consolidation then kita proceed with the shearing stage Okay, again, we are conducting the CU test. Okay, C, consolidation, dah settle. Now, the second term is undrained. It refer to the shearing stage, the valve condition, whether it close or open. Since this is U, U mean undrained. So, undrained. Kalau drain, air keluar. Undrained maknanya air tak boleh keluar. So, the test need valve to close during shearing stage we close the valve so water can flow out okay again by applying the sigma d okay now kita apply sigma d deviate the stress so the stress will increase yeah? sigma 3 plus sigma d which is equal to sigma 1 and at the same time we are not allowing water to flowing out so what will happen to the water it will feel stress they are caressing pressure eh? so the progress of you you will increase during the shearing stage you will increase to become positive um, uh, pore water pressure and 
u juga can be less than zero to become negative u for the dense soil for example is clay okay so there are two uh, possibility since um, the valve is closed so water can flow out so you will not equal to zero yang penting you tak akan equal to zero but then the volume will constant because air tak keluar so dia akan remain duduk dalam tu alright ok so what will happen to the you during the shearing stage ok so you can be positive for water pressure because for example especially for the sand and gravel eh, for the loose soil because it soil is trying to push water to to to, to going out ok and water juga also try harder to get out from the uh, specimen but then we close the valve eh? we close the valve there is no possibility to water flowing out so it will increase the uh, water pressure because I cannot go anywhere it just stay dalam tu together together with the particle of sand and gravel but what happened with the clay kalau melibatkan fine soil eh? the dense soil is like clay or silk okay So, sama juga soil is trying to expand. So, expand the volume and then try to make the voids to getting bigger. Since the valve is closed, uh, dia tak boleh nak pergi mana-mana. And also due to the behavior of that soil itself. What it can do adalah it create vacuum inside the soil. Dia uh, sedut sendiri. Air itu masuk ke dalam badan tanah particle soil, uh, particle clay itu sendiri. Uh, so itulah cara dia expand yeah, by by um, apa menyerap air masuk ke dalam body of soil clay tu sendiri so that kind of uh, that kind of action will have we will have the negative pour water pressure tapi yang positif tadi air tu takkan mana dia duduk kat situ together with the particle size of uh, sand and gravel but then for the dense soil that soil tu dia akan menyerap air tu so soil tu yang akan expand ok so uh, for the CU test the data of pore water pressure U during the shearing will be recorded lah for the analysis ok kalau masa kita buat CD CD U will equal to zero eh, sebab kita akan biarkan air equal to zero sampai lah sample fail but then for the CU since we close the valve so we have the u value and when we stop the test bila sample fail as usual lah kita akan keep increasing sigma d increase sigma d till the sample fail ok so this is the mode of failure Right, and then the typical plot. Okay, the typical plot for the uh, CU test. Okay, typical plot for the CU test. Okay, the CU test. Since we have recorded the U value, kita ada record pore water pressure. So the analysis can be effective stress analysis and also can be total stress analysis. So we have recorded the sigma three, the sigma one, right? And then um, we have also the punya deviated stress kan so by knowing that kita ada total stress analysis if we want to analyze it based on the effective stress also can because we have recorded dia punya u value ok kita ada record the pore water pressure remember that effective stress sigma prime sama juga dengan sigma minus u ok so if we want to analyze based on effective stress we have the sigma 3 Minus with you, you will get the sigma 3 prime. Okay, so you you can plot the more circle. Sigma 3 prime with the sigma 1 prime. Eh? Because sigma 3 prime is equal to sigma 3 minus u. And sigma 1 prime equal to sigma 1 minus u. Okay, then you can plot. So, bila you plot, you dapat satu failure envelope. The green line yang, yang first ni is the uh, failure envelope for the effective stress analysis. And the second one is the total stress Kita ada sigma 3, there is no prime Sebab dia bukan effective And then sigma 1 eh? So for the second line is for the total stress analysis And actually the effective stress ni It will represent the soil behavior after drain condition Maknanya after all the water is 
uh, drain out so what will happen to the soil how is the performance of the soil and then collect at the same time if want to to analyze the total stress analysis maknanya during the process of the construction ataupun during uh, the natural condition the original conditions with the water inside the the site eh, masih fresh lagi dalam fresh conditions ya yeah, kita boleh analyze based on total stress that represent the soil behavior while it's raining draining maksudnya dalam keadaan uh, uh, pore pressure tu masih sedia ada dalam tu lagi okey maknanya after the constructions immediately nak check uh, dia punya stability eh, sebabnya air air belum nak turun nak uh, apa squeeze out lagi from the construction sebab kita baru buat bangunan tu ok so kita boleh check lah dia punya total stress analysis if you want to estimate dia punya effective stress analysis ok kita boleh gunakan effective stress analysis punya calculation ok to predict the performance of the geotechnical structure alright ok so that is the concept for the CU test you can get two uh, informations for the effective stress also you can analyze it and also for the total stress so when you analyze based on effective stress what you will get the punya final shear strength parameter is the C prime and angle of friction prime be careful with the prime bila effective dia akan the prime and then for the total stress analysis you akan dapat C and angle of friction sometimes you akan jumpa orang letak ada U kecil kat situ they, it, it, it means that the test is undrained condition maknanya dia buat CU test so the CU is in the conditions of undrained conditions ok alright and then the C prime and angle of friction prime uh, the condition bila air tu dah keluar alright ok uh, sama juga sometimes orang guna C dengan angle of friction is uh, pun merujuk kepada keadaan yang total stress analysis alright